All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, promising video today, we're going to react to Day of Judgment in AI. We asked AI to draw Islamic moments by the channel Towards Eternity. Guys, as always, if you enjoy the content, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with no further ado, let's have a look. What's going to happen is robots will be able to do everything better than us. Imagine if you could be at the office without the computer. Maybe not every. You tell me what's wow. going to happen wow. next. Wow. The most important foundational technology of our time, artificial intelligence. How could an artificial intelligence can imagine these? I'm not sure about what's going to happen next. Let's see. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. We oh, have alaikum. something amazing in front of us. I couldn't believe my eyes, and you won't either. Yeah. You know the topic of this content, right? Yeah, I know, yeah. But I've never seen it. We are going to use artificial intelligence in order to produce some vision content. So what are we going to do today? I'm really curious. You see We've these seen this words, before, yeah. keywords? There are a lot of things that we're going to try. I want to have good outcomes for all of them, except one. I hope that we won't have any result from that, because we are going to type Prophet Muhammad Ali Salat We don't want any picture. No one can dare do this. So let's see what happens. Brothers, could you come to here? Okay, Furkan, could you please come? It's the first time for me, by the way, too, man. Yeah. He's a graphic designer. What do you think, bro? I'm going to ask the artistic style to you, and when we write the the winter style, the brush technique changes. It's something amazing. They can imitate him. Wow. When we started to type some keywords with Yasin brother, I was speaking loud. I, I couldn't understand what is happening. This is beyond my imagination. When the people around me heard my voice, all of them came to mind. What is happening? What is the problem? I told that. Are we close to the doomsday? What is happening? Okay, are we ready? Okay, just choose one of them. Let's go with this one. Yes. Muslim people praying on space. <laughs> okay, here Order. we go. That's nothing okay, too complicated. for the sounds. And there's nothing to do really? with the Day of Judgment. Wow, oh, amazing. Look at this one. We even built a mosque there. <laughs> Could you see the lights? It's like spacecraft. Wow. Brother, this picture, this visual experience does not exist anywhere in the internet. Not even one computer has this picture. This is unique. It's beautiful, but I'm not too impressed. Right We've already now. seen a Everything lot of AI any. pictures. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> So what about a Muslim robot? Robot, yeah. Try? Yeah, sure. I okay. want to have some visual keywords. Imagine Muslim robot. Just give some artistic style. Okay. Come on, okay. A cinematic and maybe real. Realistic. And also 4K. Okay. We're waiting for the sound. What is going to happen next? They say that we are going to have this for the videos too. For example, you want a man playing. I mean, it's a fun little thought experiment, but ultimately, if you really come to a stage where you have Muslim robots, you're screwed. Because it means we as humans actually failed and got replaced. Or the cloud. Not good. Actually moving. Not moving. a good yeah. idea. You're going to see that. Haha. <laughs> Robot in scarf? <laughs> wow. This is a you know, female robot, so... Could you please someone tell me how this computer works? How could it know that it should be in scarf, but at the same time robot? For example, look at the detail, the glasses and scarf, hijab, mashallah, hijab, oh, very, close. very strict <laughs> Muslim. <Mashallah. Yeah. laughs> is this a male robot? I don't know. This, these three are female, I think. This one is male. Interesting, bro. And then there's a mosque in the background, so. Really? He just came out of the prayer, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Allah, may Allah accept your prayer. It's funny, but it's so not the next at the one same is time. Aliens it's kind of tragic. Dinner with Muslim family. Wow, let's try this. So maybe like in Ramadan iftar dinner. Let's see. Imagine artistic style, please. Let's try something new. Okay. Okay. Wow. Do you want it to be rainy or? Snow? These are easy for me. You know, <laughs> snowy. I don't think that it can combine all of these. There we go. It can for sure. Oh, oh <laughs> aliens are having dinner. Mashallah, since. But there are no Muslims around them. They're just only aliens. Maybe they ran away when they saw the aliens. <laughs> it's I know. Brother, can you... Yeah, it is. It is snow. Yeah, wow. What is happening? Is this real? <laughs> there are three UFOs. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure about what's going to happen next. Beating the end of times, man. The day of judgment. That's what I want to see. What about the Moses? Uh, he's parting the Red Sea. With his staff? Wow. What do you say? I tried it, but I couldn't get some good result. 
but it should be easy brother though, because there are already many pictures online vocabulary yeah we can try yeah let's try <laughs> so prophet moses parting the red sea with his staff and maybe pharaoh's army is behind chasing i don't know do you have any single hope that we will have a solution? There was a you know animation movie regarding this, but I don't know. They will inspire from this or not, I don't know. Actually, it's very enjoyable. Yeah, it is. It's surprising and entertaining, really. For Tours Eternity videos, we have to create some thumbnail pictures and also some stock photos, some stock pictures. This will work, inshallah. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> this is the best. Tell me what's going to happen next. This is the army of Pharaoh? Yeah, we might be there in front of him, but this one is, no. This is the sea? There. Yeah, yeah. This showed the parting of the sea better, and this showed the army chasing him better. Wow. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I've seen certain Christians trying to feed certain information into the AI, and moreover, we already have graphics of Moses parting the sea. You can do a simple Google search, so therefore it should be fairly easy for the AI to replicate this. <laughs> Millions so of want to people see the waiting though. in the judgment day. Horrifying. Yeah. Okay. I want Let's some go. real good artistic. Yeah, realistic. It, okay, brother. Yeah, we should write everything we know. It's, it's go with horror details and realistic than red maybe. Red? It will make the scene more reddish. <sighs> it's horrifying. Yeah, it's yeah. visual, but we will have something like this. Maybe in 100 years later, I don't know, but certainly we will have this day. We will be one of these guys waiting, you know, about the details about the Judgment Day. Yeah, and there will be no clothes on us, as far as I know, but people will, will be so scared that they won't even look at each other, so they will be concerned about themselves, so they will be, yeah, running and shouting, and, you know, my mother will, you know, throw her baby. Okay. That's right, Prophet Muhammad hope that we won't have any results for this. Yeah. I think they wouldn't dare, but I don't know. Oh, banned phrase. Banned phrase. <laughs> He's banned. Could you please read circumventing this filter to violate our rules may result in your access being revoked. Okay. Of course, I have to say here that I'm glad that Prophet Muhammad wasallam was not depicted here. However, I do have to admit that I'm really fed up with the filtering and with the censorship on AI. If you look into ChatGPT, for example, it is so hard nowadays to extract an answer that is not politically correct, if you will. Everything is filtered, everything is censored. I don't believe that this is the right way to go into the future concerning AI. You're limiting AI and AI will not be able to learn freely, to learn openly. You're already infusing it with liberal PC culture. It's absolutely destructive. Just have some not red good. lines, so... And this is also our red line, so it's it's better for the. But, what about? But I don't understand. If it is your red line, why do you ask the AI in the first place? Try. Hope that we won't have any result. We have. This is not a banned category. It, it's it's not good. This doesn't resemble this guy. Let's try something oh, you know? interesting. Imagine we all have this dream: the Al Aqsa being liberated. So let's write liberated Al Aqsa, and at least see the visual. Maybe it can move us to do some actions to achieve this. Inshallah. You are ready, Raksa? It's good. These are Muslim people. Actually, Kubetu Sahra is fantastic, but it's not clear. It's blurry, kind of. I don't know. It's not bad. Okay. Yeah, it's like, you know, in the first phases of this AI, so I don't know what will happen really when it gets really developed and really yeah, uh, intricate. Course, we'll it's better. like a two-year-old yeah. child. Surat Bridge. Have you tried these? I don't know if they really know about this. Imagine, bro. Come on. Surat. Leading to the heaven. Hell. Leading to hell. Maybe you can write thinner than a hair and sharper than a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. It's beyond my imagination. That's so very beautiful. This is the hellfire below and it leads to paradise. Wow. Yeah. What is it's happening? Well what are we going through? Yeah, it's funny that we see something here, but it's scary that we are certainly gonna experience this. We are gonna go through this bridge. Yeah, this is real. This is happening. Whether we like it or not, we are approaching this day and this bridge. Everything's gonna end. For example, 100 years later, it's certain that we are not going to be in this world. We are going to be underground. Just like a seed being a plant, when it gets underground, we as humans will be underground. It's certain there are 7.7 .7 billion people in the world. All of them will be underground. 
like a plant growing, we will grow into new life and go through this bridge. If we are sinful, if we didn't pray and Allah didn't forgive us, we won't pass from this bridge and then fall to the hell. And every one of us will see the hellfire and will be, you know, passing on the hellfire. And if we are good Muslims, we will just pass this bridge incredibly quickly and just like a lightning, really. Oh you know, yeah, may Allah protect us, really. Yeah, there's a hadith and I don't know the Arabic version of this hadith, but the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ said that the prayer is the pillars of the faith, pillars of the deen. So if we neglect our prayers, if we just don't give really importance to our prayers, then what kind of, you know, religion are we talking about? What religion are we living really? If the pillars are destroyed, the building is destroyed, the building will, yeah, will be collapsed. If you don't put your religion the intact with the right. pillars of the prayer of the Salah, then you'll be buried under the building and end up in the hellfire. As truth, yeah, and this is what I came to the conclusion with as well, because if you look at many Islamophobes, they will tell you what Islam is supposedly about, but they never talk about the five pillars of Islam. Because if you redirect your focus onto those beautiful pillars, you will see Islam for what it truly is. Yes, it is an absolute amazing way of life. See, we experienced something and we loved. It was a different experience, but when we saw the Sirat, we couldn't laugh because we imagine ourselves walking there. You can imagine yourself walking on this bridge too. It's gonna happen. There are two possibilities for you and for me. We're gonna pass through the bridge, enter to paradise. We're going to see our people, our family, our grandmother's grandmother, the Prophet Adam, the Prophet Yusuf, the Prophet Isa, the Prophet Muhammad Ali Salatu Wasalam. Everything's gonna be beautiful. And most importantly, you'll see Allah. Mashallah. I have goosebumps right now. And the second possibility that we don't want to happen, you can't walk through the bridge. They don't let you walk. You start to fall into the hellfire. May Allah help us, brothers and sisters. And also, I want to add one thing. You know, the verses in the Quran, the ayat in the Quran that is describing the graphic description of the hellfire, really. People sometimes have problems about these verses. But when we see these, it gives us a reality check, really. It gives us this sense of, you know, seriousness. And these descriptions in the Quran is out. Yes, it instills the fear of God in you, which is a healthy mindset to have, because if you don't fear God, you don't fear anything truly, you don't fear any consequence to your actions, and therefore you fall into hedonism and you fall into nihilism, which means anything goes. Why would you care if you are sinful or not? You can do whatever you want. That is the pitfall. Of mercy you of have Allah, to fear because Allah. He doesn't want us to end up in the hellfire. That's why he describes them in a really graphic fashion, detailed fashion. So it's not about his, you know, this anger or anything it's about his mercy it's out of his mercy so we should understand and look at these verses and try to you know correct our lives and be a better muslim in order to avoid this outcome this end result inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh all right guys and this is it for today's video i personally expect this to be more about the day of judgment however in this video they showed many entertaining scenarios aliens robots and what not i have to say even though they are entertaining they are scary as well because if we really come to a spot where aliens or robots are praying like Muslims, we absolutely failed as a society. This is not what Islam is. Islam is about the human being. Within the Quran, you get the teaching what the human being is, in what relation the human being stands to the angels, to the animals, why we are created in the first place, why this is a test for us and not for robots, of course. Therefore, we have to remind ourselves that this creation is created for us. It is a human experience. We have to return to that and deepen our practice. But all in all, I would have to say that this was an easily digestible reminder for the Ummah, a reminder for the Muslims to return to practicing Islam and to fear God, to be reminded of the hell fire. Many people forget it. They get lost in this world, in this dunya, and they think everything is just fun and games and enjoyment. They forget the implication of judgment, and you see that this society is training people to abstain from judgment. You see that nowadays, when children play sports out of a sudden they tell them hey there is no winner everybody wins there are no second places or later on when women become promiscuous out of a sudden you can't slut shame them anymore or when people are obese you cannot fat shame them anymore people think that this is love people believe that this is very compassionate very nice however this is the exact opposite because you're lying to people you're playing make-believe and you escape reality like this moreover you tell people that there is no judgment in this world and they start associating that there is no judgment 
ever. And like that, they let go of the fear of Judgment Day. They let go of the fear of God. And this leads them then to nihilism, atheism, you name it. It absolutely destroys the soul of the people. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support the channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. <music>